Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm bringing you a quick update from the Sunday Times and Peter's Fraser's and Dunlop Young Writer of the Year Award. So as I mentioned before, and I'll link to a video below with more on that, I'm sitting on the shadow panel for the Young Writer of the Year Award. Basically that involves myself and four other bloggers. We all read each of the shortlisted books. And then we met up in London and decided upon our winner, and that's what I'm going to share with you today. There's also a competition to mention, which I will talk to you about in a minute. I'm afraid it's only open to UK entrants because, you know, international postage and whatnot, and I'm not running the competition, so I had no, no choice in the matter. But I'll give you more info and link to that below. So, the five shortlisted books, and these are in no particular order. This is just kind of the order I've got them in here. So, we have Claire North, The End of the Day. We have The Lauras by Sarah Taylor. We have The Lucky Ones by Julian Pacheco. We have Outlandish Night, The Byzantine Life of Stephen Runciman by Minu Dinshaw. And we have Conversations with Friends by Sally Rooney. Now, I've started reviewing some of these on my channel and they're in my booktube playlist if you have a look at that. There are a few more of them for me to post. However, today, literally the day I'm filming, so this has already happened by the time you watch this, our decision of who is the overall winner has been announced. So this is what we as the shadow panel picked out as our favorite of the books. There's then gonna be an award ceremony on December the 7th, Thursday, December 7th, which I'm gonna go along to where they'll announce who the uh, judges picked. So we'll see if we both pick the same person. But now, drum roll please. The winner is the Lucky Ones by Julian Pacheco. Julian, not Julian, I always say Julian. Um, the Lucky Ones, it's very hard to describe. It's very ethereal, very dreamlike, very hallucinatory. It's a collection of short stories, but it's also been described as a novel. It's kind of these themes going in and out between it all, themes like uh, cocaine and coca leaves and travel and the different ways that people interact with each other, I suppose. I'm gonna read you the blurb. The Lucky Ones is Julianne Pacheco's haunting debut collection of stories. Set in lush, heady Colombia, and also in a jungle-like New York City, it brings together the fates of guerrilla soldiers, rich kids, rabbits, hostages, bourgeois expats, and drug dealers. As different characters spin in and out of focus, Pacheco builds a world uniquely her own. The result is a beautifully controlled exploration of what makes a victim and what makes a perpetrator, and how lives are fatefully entwined despite deep cultural divides. At once terse and tender, with a manic crazed energy, these stories will scalpel their way into your memory. And they certainly scalpel their way into my memory. And the rest of the judges as well. We actually sat around and we each ranked these five books in order. And all five of us all picked this one out as our favourite one. So it was a unanimous decision, which I'm very happy with. Just to keep you guys updated with all the process of this. So the next step for me is that I'm going to go along to the awards ceremony. I'll probably take my camera and film as much of it as I can if I'm allowed to. Which I assume I'm allowed to. I've just got to dress up nicely. So no more like lined t-shirts. And unshaven faces so that's gonna happen I'll try and keep you guys updated with that as well as with who is picked as the overall winner of the award however in the meantime you can check in the description below for some links to some of my reviews of these books including my review of the lucky ones so do check that out um, all of these books they're all interesting and worth the time in, in their own special way so do check out those reviews hit subscribe if you want to see the new reviews as and when they come out and the other thing to mention is the competition so basically what we're going to do is we're going to have five different winners who each get to take their pick of any of these five books now it is UK only I'm afraid Again, just because it is a, it's a British award, I suppose. It's also only running for a couple of weeks, so it's a raffle copter competition, and you can enter through the link in the description below. And yeah, you get entries by, you know, uh, voting on which one you would pick out of the lot and f following myself and the other bloggers on Twitter and all this stuff, which, you know, as you're watching BookTube, you should follow the other bloggers anyway. They have interesting takes on each of these books and I would uh, recommend going to check that out. So anyway, that's about it for this video. I just want to say thank you again to Sunday Times and Peters, Frasers and Dunlop for organising this award and for inviting myself and the other bloggers to get involved, for sending me these books and for giving you guys the chance to win some of these as well. So be sure to get your entry in. Let me know with a comment as well which of these five books you would be most interested in reading and I will see you soon. Bye.